back, folks. This is our second segment of Athletes Incorporated. Check us out on IBTV.us, Roku TV, YouTube. Comment, subscribe, and like what we got going on. And uh, unless you've been living under a rock, I know you guys have all been tuning into the World Cup, which finished today. Um, it actually, France beat Croatia in a 4-2. to two, And um, taking third was Belgium. How did you feel about the World Cup as a whole? Because I know you were watching a lot of the games. Oh, well, I, you know, I enjoyed it for the most part. The thing that I uh, still question is the seeding of the tournament. Mm -hmm. And uh, because the, some of the really big teams that had to play each other early um, on. Well, and, and because, well, it goes in, in, you know, you can lose a couple, couple games, but when they got to the one and done part, mm -hmm. uh, some of the big teams that were playing, uh, Brazil, Mexico, wow, come on. You know, I don't know if they seeded them by continent or, but I think that when you get to that point, it should go into and actually be seeded from the best place the least. Right. So that the, the best team has, you're rewarded for being the best team. So I don't know how the seeding went, but was uh, I would like to see, see the seeding done so that we can see the best play in the end. Um, I wanted to see England play France for that, the final, that's it. but then you know, it, to me, it was obvious when when England lost uh, in that semifinal, uh, right. they weren't really playing uh, all out against Belgium. Right. I mean, you can see the fire wasn't there. Right. They wanted to be in that championship game against uh, France, so you have those two. But uh, I was so glad to see France win. <clears throat> Uh, over Croatia. Croatia was one of the few teams that didn't have any diversity. Right. Um, and for me, I really like that. You know, so uh, France had a uh, number of uh, black kids, um, Frenchmen, um, England, same way. Their team had nice uh, diversity. Most um, of the teams this year, from what I saw, had a lot of diversity. Yeah. Um, our producer, Aurelio, and it's in the news, but a lot of people are saying that the numbers on watching the World Cup were down. For two reasons, because of the seating, and number two, we didn't have a team. Right. So, what do we do to change that? Well, Is there but anything now, you, but you have to remember, Trey, we're talking about the numbers are down in the U.S. Right. Worldwide, it is flourishing. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Only absolutely. I meant, I meant the U.S. folks. Yeah, yeah. Well, we don't have a team. So, uh, what do we do to change until that? Until they make soccer a big deal, mm -hmm. as opposed to football, basketball, and baseball, because they pay so much money in the U.S., but what the U.S. kids don't understand, because U.S. kids are, you know, infatuated with how much money can I make, right. the soccer players make more money. Mm -hmm. Now, once they can learn that and get some diversity on the soccer teams, we'll be okay. But we're not going to get to the World Cup, folks, and certainly not going to win the World Cup with country club kids. You're going to have to get some, some serious athletes playing soccer. So... Um, I talked to a lady last week. Her son was a star at Lincoln High School here. Okay. He's um, one of the, he's on the junior league with uh, um, the Rapids group. Okay. Because they have all kinds of different right. leagues going on and stuff. He is going, he's a rising superstar. Right. Born and raised in the United States. He's Mexican American. You know what he said? Mm. He will only play for the U.S. if he can't make the Mexican team. Really? So, see, we have to have those kids. Mm. We have plenty of really superstar. Right? There's some, there were some Mexican-American kids on Mexico's team. Really? That was said, hey, I'll play for them because the United States doesn't give us the kind of respect. They don't make wow. us the kind of big deal. In Mexico, you are, I mean, the only thing close is like a Cesar Chavez. Boxing. Right. But once you leave that, it's the soccer guys. And so, you know, to be heralded as the heroes of your country, representing the whole country, that means a bigger thing. So until we can get uh, the kids from Mexico and then further down in South America, Brazil and those other teams, uh, Colombia had a great team, right. Chile had a great team. Until we can get those kids who are Americans to stay here, and then we've got to get some diversity with the black kids. Right. We're not going to be able to compete at that level with those kids. Do you guys know if there's any Americans playing on other teams? No. It doesn't happen. Well, right now, then, we don't have, uh, America doesn't have the kind of talent that they can make on those okay. teams. 
Yeah, yeah. So the time. Mexicans who are going yes. to Mexico. Yeah, yeah, they're going like that. Wow. But but most of the teams, you know, they, uh, you look at the, some of those guys playing for uh, France, some of those guys playing for England. Mm -hmm. They be wide receivers, DBs, baseball players, whatever. They they could be whatever they wanted to. I don't know his name, folks, but the best player, in my opinion, one of the rising stars in the world, plays for France. He's a he's an African kid. Um, mm -hmm. He's African signed with Frenchman. Adidas, a Frenchman, uh -huh. but he's becoming the new, you know, Ronaldo, yeah. the new Messi. Yeah. But now we have it was been it's been twenty years since uh, France won, so this is their yeah. first last time I can imagine they're partying in in, in uh, Paris, I believe. Oh yeah. But then the heroes again, of the country. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, heroes. yeah. They could rep truly represent the country. This is a bigger deal than an Olympic champion for them, uh, because it's the biggest things. Olympics are second to the World Cup in, when you talk about involving the whole world. Mm -hmm. And then talking about the Olympic things, folks, we had the uh, World Junior Championships with the past five days this week in Finland. Mm -hmm. uh, the United States uh, made really poor showing really poor show at our junior athletes. Um, the young ladies dropped the baton right. in the four by one. It did, just doesn't make any sense. Then today, before we came here, the final event was the four by four. Which is our uh, favorite. With mile relay, the US men have won 16 years, 16, not just years, 16 times is every two years, 16 times in a row. The four by four has been won by the US. And they dropped the baton in the 4x4. Four four. Italy won it, and U.S. comes up, gets up to second place. But it just, it just didn't make any sense. Um, we, uh, many of the performers, just, we got two problems with, with, the, with the junior team, folks. Either they did not understand or were not made to focus on this meet. But you know, for some of them, the younger ones, first time going overseas, right? Um, they need more chaperoning. Right. I think they're over there having a good time. Um, um, two so is that the coaching that comes into play? Well, the coaching, and then two, like the young lady uh, who finished, who got the bronze medal in the hundred. Right. I don't know if she could beat that young lady from uh, the Williams girl from uh, Jamaica, who also won the two hundred. Right. I mean, she won the hundred and two hundred going away. Right. Um, she she's the I can understand her thing. She runs for University of Southern California. Mm -hmm. She this is a long season for her, man. Yeah, long, long, long season for her. Are we still on? This is a, a long. This is a long season for her. So I can understand some of hers, but some of the other um, uh, some of the other folks right. um, just did not compete at the level that you would have thought they would have. Uh, one young lady that we did have who who really shown well here from uh, Denver goes to Valid Christian the young lady who Anna Hall, uh, yeah, Anna Hall yeah. who um, uh, she finished eighth in the heptathlon right. but PR'd right so she did the best she's ever done folks and she'll just be a senior in high school and the junior meet is uh, they call it the under twenty championship so most of those folks the young men young women are in college while they're doing. So oh, yeah. you know, you know, we had that, and the other thing we have to have to talk about here in the last couple minutes, uh, what a great job Serena Williams did. Absolutely. And it's funny how first she was vilified, wasn't liked by anybody. Now in this loss, she's become just the darling of tennis. And they said that you know she was very humble. She's always humble yeah. when she loses. Yeah. I, I didn't understand. Well, that. not always, Trey. She said some pretty bad things. Oh, that one time I, I remember said, that. Eight she, months off pregnancy, yeah, folks. Yeah, eight, eight months, months off from being pregnant. And, she's, and uh, the time when she lost, she said, well, "Who was the girl anyway? What's her name?" <laughs> and she knew that she was very, but just beautiful. But the uh, sad thing, they she comes into the t uh, tournament to into Wimbledon, uh, multiple champion, comes in ranked one eighty one. Didn't even ha didn't even get a seed, so she had to fight from the bottom up, mm -hmm. and now they're trying to act like oh we love you so much. No, they jumped on the bandwagon, but they wanted to see her. Um, I Carver watched from Germany won by the way. Yes, yeah, great great tennis player, but uh, I she even almost you could say see the look she could say well you know eight I, months yeah, eight well months. but <laughs> and, and uh, all the previous matches because it's 
pretty, you know, demanding long, physically. Yeah. Uh, she was, you could tell that that championship match, she was tired, man. Mm -hmm. She was really tired. You know, being a new mother was really, and she was, you could still see she's overweight. Mm -hmm. So when, when she loses that last 15, and this was just her fourth tournament. Yeah. Wow. How many Wimbledons has she won? Do you know? No, not right off the top of my head. But I know she's a multiple champion, and, and was, I think she has more Grand Slams. Okay. So she will be the most prolific uh, tennis man, 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 or, man, man or woman. And in my opinion, athlete overall. Yeah, if you take men and top women. Ten. The only person that ever dominated an event more than hers is Edward Moses. He won over 100 races in a row. Mm -hmm. Over 100. But other, other than that, that there's no one who's been as dominant in their uh, event Sport, yeah. than, than, than her. It's just really great to see her do that. So we got that coming, you know. So we'll, we'll see if that, that comes coming. But that's what we're talking about, folks. And hoping that these kids can get together and we can do a good job. I'm Harold. This is Trey. We'll see you for our last segment. Just